The opioid epidemic continues to claim the lives of people in South Carolina, and officials say drugs laced with fentanyl are contributing to the problem. News 2's Delilah James spoke with the Charleston Police Department and representatives from the South Carolina Department of Alcohol and Other Drug Abuse Services, or DEOTIS, about what they are doing to reduce overdose deaths. Local law enforcement is working to warn the public about the dangers of fentanyl and how the drug is adding to the opioid crisis here in the Lowcountry. It's unfathomable. Um, it's something I'll never get over. <sighs> Ever. It's a drug 50 times stronger than heroin and lethal at just two milligrams. So fentanyl is a synthetic opioid. Um, it is incredibly addictive and it's much cheaper to make than other traditional opioids. Fentanyl is deadly on its own, but it's making its way into other opioids as well. Drugs laced with fentanyl are becoming more common and users are often unaware. My son was not a drug addict. My son was using a drug recreationally. And when he got that drug, it was laced with fentanyl and it killed him. Um, had he known there was fentanyl in it, I don't, he would never have done that. Lisa's story is not uncommon. According to the Charleston Police Department, there were 225 suspected drug overdoses reported in 2023. In just the second week of January 2024, the Charleston Police Department responded to four overdoses, three of which were fatal. Now CPD is working with the state and local organizations to bring awareness to the growing problem and introduce harm reduction strategies. So one of the things that we're trying to do from an overdose prevention perspective is provide people with resources to understand what the issue is and to be able to test uh, the drug supply. We're partnering with those community distributors to not only provide folks with um, naloxone or some type of overdose reversal agent, but also these fentanyl test strips. On Thursday, the Charleston Police Department will host a Narcan training and overdose awareness class at the Keith Summy Library in North Charleston, beginning at 6 p.m. Reporting in Charleston, I'm Delilah James, count on two.